Hey there fellow physics student does. Today we're going to be working on the drone delivery problem and in this problem we're going to find out where the uh, drone needs to be so that it can release its ball that it's carrying and so the ball can hit the target um, in the right location. So there's a few things that we need to figure out first. We need to figure out the height of the ball and that you can do by watching the drone as it's flying along right here and kind of see where the height of the ball is. So for this problem, we're going to follow this little line here, and it looks like it's at about 1.3 meters. So that's the height of the ball. Uh, the initial velocity of the ball is in the x direction, and that's 3.5 meters per second. And the gravitational acceleration of the planet is 8.0 meters per second squared. So let's get to work on this problem. Uh, the first important thing is to write down the uh, variables that we have. So the gravity of the planet is uh, 8.0 meters per second squared. Um, the velocity initial of the ball, which is also equal to the velocity in the x, is 3.5 meters per second. Uh, the target that the ball is going to land on is uh, 3.5 meters in and the height of the ball is 1.3 meters and over here uh, writing writing out a or drawing out a diagram helps me a lot whenever I'm solving these problems so I'm gonna go ahead and do that so the velocity is 3.5 and there's also the height that we have to take into account. And then what we're looking for is the target right here, uh, which is 3.3 meters in. This should be a 3 right here. Um, and we want to know when the ball is let go or where the ball needs to be let go from to land on the target. So there's a couple uh, things we need to do to figure that out. We need to find the time that it's in the air and we need to know the range of the ball from uh, just from when it's dropped. Doesn't even You don't even have to account for the drone moving. Uh, we just want to know where the ball is going once it's dropped with all these give with all this given information. So we want to know the range. Um, so let's let's get to it. Uh, the way that we're going to figure out time is we're going to use the uh, h equals one half a t squared equation, um, and we're just going to plug in our numbers and solve for what we don't know. So 1.3 is equal to one half uh, gravitational, which is 8.0 times t squared. So it's going to be equal to uh, 1.3 divided by 4 is going to be equal to t squared. And we're also just going to take the square root, and get rid of the uh, exponent and the t. So the t is going to be equal to 1.3 divided by 4, and all of that, uh, the square root of all of that. So if we see what the uh, magical calculator of wisdom has to say, uh, the final answer is going to be the square root of 0 0.325, which equals uh, 0 0.57 seconds. And so now that we have our T figured out, we can box it up and uh, write it in here. And uh, now we can solve for the range. So the range, we're going to be using the uh, VXT equation. We have the time, and we have the uh, velocity in the X, which is the velocity initial. So it's going to be 3.5 times 0.57.
and so the range is going to be equal to 1.995 meters which we could just round up to 2 since it's uh, 3 uh, round up decimals in a row uh, the 9, the 9, and the 5 so a fair estimate of rounding is going to be uh, 2 meters and let's just write it in over here um, and now comes the interesting part so the target is at 3.3 meters and the range of the ball is going to be 2 meters so what we want to do is kind of find like a change in R kind of thing so it's going to be the, the target's location which is 3.3 minus the range of the ball which is 2 and that is going to be equal to 1.3 meters. So the drone has to be, has to travel 1.3 meters before it drops the ball so that the ball can hit the target um, at where the target is, if that makes any sense. So now that we have all of our answers, this is going to be our final uh, answer that we plug into the website right here, this 1.3. Uh, since it's going to ask us where where the drone needs to be, um, so yeah, let's just plug it in and see what happens. So we're going to go ahead and enter our answers. Enter your name. Uh, everybody, you all know my name at this point. If you've seen all three of my videos, uh, the time of the flight is in milliseconds. I always forget to do this. So when we're Looking at the time here, we uh, want to convert it into milliseconds, which I always forget to do, but that's super easy. All you do is multiply this by a thousand, and you should get 570 milliseconds. And that's the same as 0.57 uh, seconds. So 570 milliseconds, and the release location we said was 1.3 meters. And let's go ahead and submit and see what we got. Alright, so it's wishing us good luck up here. Thank you, computer. We're going to need it. Let's prep for the drop. And it makes the drop. Zoom, there it goes. And you can see that our calculations are correct. And, uh, yep, everything seems to be right here. So hope, hopefully your calculations are correct as well. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, email me any questions you have, and uh, hope to catch you on the next example. Thanks.